In this video, we will be discussing how to um, input values into an array, as well as how to display the contents of an array um, using for loops primarily. Uh, for loops are generally the best way to do any sort of array operation uh, when you're doing something across the entire array, because it obviously allows you to iterate across them. Uh, so if we take a case like this, where we have a year's array uh, from years 2000 to 2004, um, we can easily populate this with um, with inner, uh, using a for loop. And so we'll just go ahead and do that. We'll say for int i equals 0. <coughs> i is less than size. And then we'll do plus plus i. Oops, not in caps there. Um, and then we will say years at i equals, and let's just say 2000 plus i. Um, and so what this will do is it will go and they'll say, okay, at 0, it's 2,000, and at 1, it's 2,001, 2 is 2,002, so on and so forth. And then when i is equal to 5, i will no longer be less than size, just your normal, typical for loop. <coughs> and there we have it. Um, and so now this is how to input items into an array using a for loop. It's pretty simple, not, not like nothing really too scary. And so now let's go ahead and look at outputting the contents of array um, or displaying the contents of an array uh, also inside of a for loop. So once again, we'll just have for int i equals 0 and i is less than size plus plus i. This should all look pretty familiar from up here. And now we'll say years at i equals, um, instead of years at i though, let's do this. Uh, equals years at i. And so what this is simply doing is it will just say years at 0, and then at 1, and then at 2, and so on and so forth. So if we go ahead and run this, then we see years at 0 equals 2,000, years at 1 equals 2,001, years at 2 equals 2,002, years at 3 equals 2,003, so on and so forth. You can read the screen. Um, and so there we have it. 